Hello friends, today we are deep frying. Mm. Potatoes are already going into the pan, uh, potato chips, I cut them in a pretty thin strips. Then I have already cleaned and cutting wedges the artichokes, they are now resting in a simple butter of uh, flour, water and a little baking powder. Uh, I, don't, I don't like very sophisticated, very tasteful butters, but the rice are going taste anymore the beautiful taste of the artichokes and then calamari and this is the real lesson today how to clean the calamari See, we have uh, fresh calamars with all their parts and what we have to do to clean them is to uh, pull the, uh, the part the body that is inside with a slight movement, slight movement like a zigzag pulling See, and you take out all what is inside, and then also the pan. See, this is the clean bag. I squeeze a little more to see if there is something left inside. Then, also this part is good. See, these are the eyes, and there is the mouth between the legs, the, the, the tentacles. Uh, they're very tender and soft, so Two fingers are enough pinching here uh, under beneath the, the eyes to cut away all what we don't eat and this is the ball of the mouth see I will repeat until until the potatoes are done to be taken out While the artichokes are cooking, we can take our time to cut the rings of the see, of the calamari. Okay, I've just finished to slice to cut my calamars. Artichokes are not ready, but we can uh, flip them. Remember to uh, deep fry the artichokes or also other big uh, foods, big pieces of food at pretty low temperature so they cook well inside without burning inside. Okay, here we have an empty pan and in this empty pan we put our, cal our calamari for just one minute or two, a very short time. And the reason of that is to let them release their water. And after that we will put them in the flour Get him there ready to deep fry. See, I have two pans at the same time, but they are easy to follow because this is a low temperature and they go. At the same time, I am uh, blanching, uh, this is the correct term, I'm blanching the uh, calamars. In this way, there will be less. Uh, splattering during the, the frying of them because you know they can be really dangerous they explode uh, during the frying and this is because of their content of water ok 
Okay, done. Flour. And the last pieces. Okay. Then at this point, I toss them in the flour. But all this flour is too much to fry them. Uh, I sift them to eliminate the seeding flour. And this is the way I will deep fry them. See, it's a simple dish, but for everything, as I always say, even for the simplest recipes, you need a little care to get the proper, to get the delicious. Okay, I think my artichokes are ready at this point. They look crispy, golden and crispy. Okay, at this point I have turned up the temperature because for the calamar, these small pieces need a uh, higher temperature of the oil. And we cover because there is still risk of splattering. Our calamars are almost ready. They take oh, three. Some pieces are still rebelling. Fry them nicely on a tray, and then we'll be ready to go on the table. Comforty, delicious, yummy.